the covenant of common wealth was following them. They were ruling and leading and controlling nations. Why? Because of the Abrahamic covenant of blessing. And we understand that in Christ we have been brought into this common wealth of Israel. You are not a physical Jew, but you are a spiritual Jew. Naaman was attacking Mordecai. Kai. The day that God of the Jews arose, when Naaman went back and told his wife, Ah, today something strange happened. The wife has told him, Did you say that that Nehemiah is from where? He said, that that Mordecai is from where he says he's a Jew. He said, ah, my husband, you are finished. If Mordecai is a Jew and you have started falling before him, ah, my husband, there is no right. You have fallen finished. Why did she say that? She has understanding of something called the common wealth of Israel. As you are leaving this place today, I want you to understand that you are a partaker of the common wealth of Israel. And therefore from today, wherever you go, wealth and health shall follow you. Wealth and health shall follow you. That is why that when a Jewish man meets you, he says shalom. Shalom means peace, health, and wealth. Shalom, peace, health, and wealth. These are our heritage rights under the common wealth of Israel. Because he said to them, if you are diligent to obey my words, I will take away sicknesses and diseases from you and none of the diseases of the Egyptians shall come upon you for I am the Lord that heals you. In, the, in other words, sicknesses and diseases belong to the Egyptians. Egyptians are the unbelievers who are without Christ. So in 2023, by the confinement of the blessing of Abraham over your life, you are a member of the blessed nation and you are a partaker of the common wealth of Israel. And inside the common wealth of Israel, there is long life, there is prosperity, there is peace, there is health, and there is wealth. I prophesy that is your portion this year in the name of Jesus. For you to understand how this thing oppress, go to Genesis chapter 24, verse 1. Bible Amaka Kai. Bible, very good. If you know it, your life is balanced. For you to understand what shalom is meant to do in your life. <laughs> now, Abraham was old. Well advanced in age. You see, there are two different things. He was old and he was well advanced in age. There are people that are 40 years, but when you see them, they are already old. They are not well advanced in age, but they are old. It is not every old man is well advanced in age. But there are those who are well advanced in age like also, but they are not old. They are looking fresh and young every year. 
Hallelujah. Advanced in age, yet young. That is what shalom does in the life of a man. If I know where to buy some white things and put on my head and here, I will just get them and put so that people will not be thinking that I'm a small boy. But that's what shalom does in the life of a man. You look young every year. 2035, you will still see me like this. 2045, you will still see me like this. We don't change. We don't grow old. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall renew their youth. They will run and not be tired. They will walk and not be weary. They mount up as eagles and they soar in the high places. That is the common wealth of Israel. When I'm 90 years, I'll still be like this. Be running up the mountain. I will not stop mountain this month. With this week, we are starting again. Some people, you see them, they are 40 years. It's like this. Before they get up, it's like they are lifting weights. Gear one has finished, then they change another gear to move up the other side. That is not your story. That is not your story. That is not your story. Shalom is your portion. Shalom is your portion. Shalom is your portion. Shalom is your portion. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Say, I am a citizen of the blessed nation. See, you need to understand these things. According to world statistics, South Africa is the fourth most stressed nation in the world. I don't know if they have climbed to dead now. But some few years ago, the world marked South Africa as the fourth nation that has highest stress. That's why every time, in fact, I must be very frank with you. It was here that I, I knew what it means to be stressing. Stressing. I didn't know that the stressing has the meaning that it has here. I thought that stress is just a, some, some street language. No stress. No stress. That's the only stress that I know back in my country. No stress. Bros, no stress. And it was no stress. But this, how are you? I, Pastor, I'm stressing. <laughs> have you seen the two things? This one says no stress. This one, I am stressing. But are you, you say, I can't complain. Now, I can't complain means I have a lot of complaints. But I, I don't want to go into it. Now, if you are living in such a generation, you need to make sure that it does not control your life. Step up and step into the blessed nation covenant. That is where you belong. Whether you are from Nigeria, the hustling nation. There's no nation like Nigeria in the world. Let's not even go into that one. If it is good, all of us won't run out to this place. With all the stress in South Africa, more are still looking for visa to come. Because the thing is, why we don't know stress back at home is that the place is stress itself. So, so, so you, you don't know what is stress because huh? do you know what is the air you breathe? What is the color of the air you breathe? But you are breathing air. So Nigeria, stress is like air people breathe so they don't understand how it looks. For you to start describing that air is like this, is wasting your time. You just know you need to breathe air and be okay. Praise God. When you will stress to be sure you will iron your cloth because you don't know when the neighbor will bring electricity. When 
you will stretch to go down four story to get water. That's why every man has a boy, a servant, because somebody needs to be stretching water for you from the, the four story. See, you people, you don't know what is stress. It's just they gave you the language of stress. You are speaking it. Hallelujah. Amen. But whether you are from Nigeria or you are from South Africa or you are from Zimbabwe with high currency, wherever you came from, there is a nation we belong to. We are from the blessed nation. We are partakers of the common world in Christ. And that world will work for you this year. That world will work for you this year. Lift up your voice. Say, common world is working for me this year. Common world is working for me this year. By the covenant of the common wealth of Israel, you will be advanced in age. Nobody will die early in your family. I am designing your year by the word of God. Nobody will die early in your family. By the covenant of the blessing, sickness is uprooted from your home. Diseases are uprooted from your life. Sickness is uprooted from your life. Sickness is uprooted from your life. In the name of Jesus. Nobody under this covenant is permitted to spend money in medications. I prophesy and I declare into your blood, into your bone, into your marrow, into your veins, into your atrocities, into your hair, every part of your body. Receive shalom. Receive shalom. Receive shalom. Receive shalom. In the name of Jesus. Please blink for me the oil that is in the office. As you leave this place today, whatever form of sickness or disease, whatever this is, this is, means your body is not at ease. Your body has been diseased by the covenant of the commonwealth and shalom you are leaving this place today free from every form of sickness and disease in the name of Jesus in your blood in your veins, in your marrow, in your atrocities, in your bone, in your inner organs, wherever they are right now, they are uprooted, 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 they are uprooted in the name of Jesus. Abraham was old and well advanced in age. You will grow, you will be advanced in age. You will be younger than your age. Physically, bodily, you will be stronger than your age mates. You will grow old and become younger than your age mates. In the name of Jesus. Eliza was 90 years. Was it 90 or 90 something? And went to the very hospital, the very hospice where she wanted to die, 
the very place she, they took her to the place and she commanded that the children and children children be brought if you read down the story of Abraham the man didn't die the Bible says and Abraham was gathered he didn't just die he was gathered I prophesy over your life by the covenant of Abrahamic blessing you will not die in the name of Jesus 2023 will not see any grave in your family they are making for you to lie on a sick bed we have already killed that plan it will not come to pass it will not stand you know when I enter dimensions of deep prayers I speak my language even Jesus our times he had to speak his father biological step stepfather's language when you confront situations and look and say we have fought battles and settled the battle it doesn't matter where the battle came from it doesn't matter what is planned to be we have decided and we settled nothing will happen to you no evil shall befall you no wickedness will come near you. No wickedness will come near you. In the name of Jesus. Now Abraham was old. Well advanced in age. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in how many things? That will be your testimony. If you read down the next verses, that old man was around 170 something years then. He called his servant and began to make plan of how they will get the wife for his son Isaac. Some of us, some people, God forbid, not of us, some people when they are 50 years, they are already looking for somebody they will be with. You're not giving me money. You're not giving me otaba. Even for snuff, no money, no signal, kai kai money. This one money. They said you traveled abroad, you are not doing anything. Oga, okay, you're only 50 years. You've not even attended 100 years. And you are fighting for people to feed you. At 170 something years, Papa Abraham was still looking for how to make things good for his children. He has not started looking for what Isaac will give to him because he had more than enough. What can you give him? He was alive his servant started addressing his son as my master. You will not transfer trouble to your children. Yeah. And you will not trouble your children. Yeah. You will have enough to keep blessing your children even in your old age. In the name of Jesus. Can you take your time and read that? Say, put your hand under my thigh and vow that you will marry a wife for my son from so so and so and not from so so and so place. But that's not our matter this morning, this night. Stand to your feet. Isopos Yagada. Libro Kozondia Manataya. Declare, I belong to the commonwealth of Israel. I belong to the commonwealth of Israel. I belong to the commonwealth of Israel. I belong to 
to the commonwealth of Israel. I am a citizen of the blessed nation. Just take a moment and meditate on that word. Throughout this year, your natural citizenship will not limit you. It doesn't matter where you came from. Whatever is the covenant that your fathers made about their descendants that are stopping manifestations of blessing in your life, is no, you are no longer part of that evil covenant. You came from a different country. You are a citizen of the blessed nation. You are a citizen. You are a partaker of the commonwealth. I cannot be a partaker of the commonwealth of Israel and still be a lack. This year, God is going to use those who are faithful in the house of God to teach those who are not faithful that God is a rewarder. There is a prayer you are going to pray. There is a prayer you are going to pray. We are starting to pray. We are starting to pray. We have started praying already. Psalm chapter 86. Let's pray from Psalm 86. Lift your hand and say, I belong to the commonwealth of Israel. I cannot lack. I cannot be small. I cannot go down. I belong to the commonwealth of Israel. Therefore, as I begin to pray, I command health and wealth to locate me this year. Health and wealth are my portion in 2023. Health and wealth are my portion. I belong to the commonwealth of Israel. Health and wealth are my portion. Health and wealth are my portion. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. from the common world I cannot be stranded I cannot be small I cannot be stranded God said to Abraham I will bless you I will make your name great I will make you famous that is my portion I cannot be small I cannot lack I download my portion from the common world I download Shalom I download Shalom I Download health and wealth. Isuzu Pagosia. Isuzu Pagosia. Isuzu Pagosia. I am not wasting my time. I am downloading my blessing. I am downloading my blessing. I am downloading my blessing. Irududu Pasoya. I download my portion from the commonwealth 
out of Israel. Erogodomito ziakoto. Ezabra dolia kosebra geto. Ezunia galibra garoda. Erogondia zobra godia. The land of South Africa. We yield for me this year. Irebezondia gretemenia. By the covenant of the Commonwealth, the land of South Africa, we yield for me this year. The land of Africa, we yield for me this year. We are not small in our lineage. We are not small in our lineage. The small one among you will be greater. Ezogo, zogo, 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 zogo. The blessing will not permit you to be small. The blessing will not permit your business to be small. The blessing will not permit your marriage, your life, your family to be small. Your ministry cannot be small. Zizuzia de bezo, le kroto si baleto, izopia no go si badosha, eklando se pregadonia, e rako shakoto, e braku sekle de biato, e rako zia di manata, e kusa ni bradege, e rabeto, e rabeto, rikabanto si brako zada, reto to zuba, e braku shalabato, mashada da dodaya. Jesus. The covenant of the commonwealth by the reason of the force of the blessing does not permit anyone inside that covenant to be small. Are you hearing me? This year, whatever you are and whatever you are doing will never be small. You will never be small by the force of the blessing. You are moving forward. You are becoming larger and greater. You are becoming larger and greater. Christ's world is becoming larger and greater. Christ's world is becoming larger and greater. In the name of Jesus. Look at Isaiah chapter 60. Look at Isaiah chapter 60. Verse, verse, let's, let's, let's read verse 22, 21 and 20, 21 and 22. Liba the heart of sickle de braya. Imanamaya. Your son shall no longer go down. Awenano. Do you know what that means? You will not experience rising and falling. Hey. There are people that you hear about them today. Then two years later, you are looking for them. They have disappeared. They are no longer doing well. Things have changed. It's, they may still be alive, but they are no longer visible. That will not be your portion. Thus says the Lord, your son will no longer go down. You will keep rising and rising.
rising. You will keep rising and rising. You will keep rising and rising. Lift up your voice. I can never go down. You will move from glory to glory, from greatness to greatness. You will never have a better yesterday. In the name of Jesus, stand to your feet and declare, my son will never go down this year. I am moving from glory to glory. My son will never go down. I am moving from glory to glory. My business will never go down. My ministry will never go down. My health will never go down. I am moving from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, walk around and declare. Design your year with glory to glory. Design your year from glory to glory. January will be better than December. February will be better than January. March will be better than February. From glory to glory. My health will never go down. My health will never go down. Jesus Alakunda Maya Elege Rebo Shagada Heya Kadaga In the name of Jesus Do you know when a man's son goes down he starts walking in darkness in the in the daylight that time that you see a man that was popular, famous, rich, doing well, all of a sudden, he's now just trying to gather himself together. His son has gone down in the day. But thus says the Lord of heaven, your son will never go down again. Your life will never go down again. You will move from glory to glory. Every new month will be better than the previous one. Every new week will be better than the previous one. Every new day will be better than the previous now. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, my son will never go down. And then he says, nor shall your moon withdraw itself. That means the elements of the universe will help you this year. They will be friendly with you. They will be friendly to you. They will assist you. The moon will not smite you. The sun will not smite you. The air will assist you. The land will assist you. The sky will assist you. In the name of Jesus. When the air is working against you, you come to a place of business, the person you're supposed to talk with will start feeling sick. Suddenly, he will start feeling strange. The air will just turn. The atmosphere will just turn. And the person wouldn't know why he doesn't want to just continue talking. He'll just feel tired. You know the wind is against you. The air is against you. But when the air is in your favor, when you appear, somebody will just start smiling without knowing why they are smiling. They, they will just breathe a fresh air. By just seeing your face, they will just breathe sweetness. They will breathe sweetness. Everything around them will be sweetening them. They will say, okay, for, for, because of you, you can, you can just have it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This year, the elements of the universe will work in your favor. They will be friendly with you. They will fight in your favor. In the name of Jesus. 
Moses looked at the waters of Israel. They said, he said, like, be my friend and fight my enemies. Pharaoh went to the sea in the morning. The sea was blood. The first water from their tap, it was blood. Why? The elements of the earth was helping Moses. This year, the elements of the earth will help you. You see, when the elements of the earth is helping you, you don't need a doctor to be all right. When you drink water, water will fight diseases in your body. Because God said in Exodus chapter 23 verse 25, I will bless your food and your water and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. This is not that year you will eat food and your stomach will start fighting. This year, everything created by God will work in your favor. They will be friendly with you in the name of Jesus. Remember, we are here to design our year with Christ. So when you are speaking, you are designing your year. You are writing what you want your year to deliver for you. Somebody shout, I am a blessed blessing. For the Lord will be your everlasting light. And the days of your mourning shall be ended. Today, your days of mourning and sorrow has ended. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to write it in the year 2023. Today, my days of mourning has ended. My days of sorrow has ended. My days of sadness has ended. My days of trouble has ended. My days of weeping has ended. Hiragunde Balagata, Lebredosia Kalaba. No more sorrow, no more weeping, no more crying, no more regrets, no more trouble. Isulu Balago, Ezozondiata, Eklando Simaya. anybody hearing my voice today it doesn't matter what is the sickness you have experienced before now you will walk through 2023 healthy and wealthy please if there is anybody that has chronic disease in your neighborhood in your family the, my primary calling is healing anointing if you have somebody in your village, in your community that has what is called deadly terminal disease because they are not very close to us today and here and you may not be able to bring them, make sure you have a bottle of oil representing your family here. After these seven days even if it is just one cover one spoon put it somewhere and send it to the person you will come back with the testimony but if you are here hearing my voice even if you have me I don't know what you call him does he have an English name you know that HIV is different from AIDS HIV is the one that is the, the, the that gives birth to that 
AIDS is the grandmother of HIV. That is the one they call Mingu. Once it enters AIDS, it will now Mingu. It will now be dragging the person close to the grave. But even if you know someone that has that final stage of AIDS, or you have anything that is called terminal disease, as I speak to you, hear me. This week, today, you will look for that disease and you will see it no more. It is terminated in the name of Jesus. We know the God we are serving. Under this commission, someone saw what God was doing through our healing ministry. Called from a distant place. The Lord said, go buy carrots. She had HIV. Go buy carrots. Eat it so, so, and so. Do this. At the end of that, she went and tested. HIV disappeared. How does carrot heal HIV? Has she not been eating carrot all the years? Azabosia Gadabaya. The word of anointing is coming upon everything around your life. They will walk in your favor this year. In the name of Jesus. Whoever went to a Sangoma with a fowl in your name, fowl will pursue them all the days of their life. From this night, everywhere they go, chicken will pursue them. Fowl will pursue them until they confess and repent in the name of Jesus. I'm handling something serious here. Anybody that went with a fowl, with a chicken, in your name to a sangoma, from this night they will have no rest. In their dream, chicken will pursue them. As they are eating, the chicken in their food will fight them. Everywhere they turn, fowl will trouble them until they confess and repent. In the name of Jesus Christ, any arrow fired against you any arrow that was built and fired against you that arrow will now walk in your favor it will destroy the sender and relocate their wealth to your family we are in the season of unusual wealth transfer please i'd like you to bear this in mind we are in the season of unusual wealth, unprecedented wealth transfer. God can just transfer unusual wealth into your life through any means this year. And anybody that is going to evil altars for your sake, sorry will be their name. Because two things will happen. The evil they are plotting for you will fulfill in their own hands. After that, their wealth will relocate and come to you. Give me verse 21. Miss Ulabaya, we are designing our year with Christ. Hallelujah. Also, your people shall be righteous. This year you will not struggle with sin. Your weaknesses, you will have strength over them. Whatever you think, this is my personal weakness. Today, strength is coming upon you over your weaknesses. Somebody says, he's Weakness is sexual immorality. Say, Pastor, everybody has their weaknesses. This one is my weakness. Whatever is your weakness, today strength is coming upon you over that weakness. You will prevail and you will live righteously in the name of Jesus. 
Lift up your voice. Say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. This year, anger will not rule over you. Unforgiveness will not rule over you. Stinginess will not rule over you. Some people, the only sin they commit in this world is acaradites. They are very stingy. They don't release. This year, stinginess will not rule over you. My wife wanted to give first fruit. Not first fruit, or she's still preparing her first fruit, but the cross overnight fruit. She, she, that revelation was given to her by God. So as she dropped her card, she had decided that she is taking 2,000 from whatever is in her account as that crossover into 2023. And first day, woman, no bring the money. Second day, the money, she will be going towards ATM and then she will come back and say, let's go. It continued like that. I don't know how the 2,000 managed to enter. Now they won't collect the 2,000. She struggled with the 2,000. One day, she made up her mind and said, stop here. Let me check the ATM. She went to the ATM, brought the 2,000, put it, my prophet, this is my seed for crossing over. I believe in you. You know, like the I believe in you is that your anointing must return my money, but collect it. <laughs> I believe in you. You are my prophet. This money I am giving it. I have given it. I will not. Ah, how can I be? How can I be struggling to give? No, no. I saw it, and I collected the money. It was like, ah, ah, won't you pray? <laughs> so, so I turned around and prayed and took the money put in my pocket well well and thank God for her Amen. that was Saturday the following day Sunday somebody counted the same 2000 rand and gave to her Amen. hallelujah Amen. as she was passing she said Happy New Year to somebody that has been owing her. That one is not the 2000. No. Apart from the 2000. This one has owed her so much that she will cry about this money. So if I talk now, they say New Year Pastor has to be quiet. <laughs> what will I do? I'm saying give the money to them now. She yeah. actually became Papa Oliver. Because when they said Happy New Year, the person put hand into the pocket. No, no, wait. Oh. It was not the person owing. She greeted the friend of the person owing. Jesus. The friend put her hand in the pocket and paid for the friend who was not there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes you need to overcome every form of stinginess that want to hold your hand from giving. Hallelujah. This year, you will rule over whatever that is ruling over you. Since my wife started running, once we say Happy New Year, she will run and drop a seed. It has worked for us in a way that we cannot explain. And this year, they were telling her, uh, You know, this one. But she overcame. And God came to show immediately that he is the one behind this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you couldn't listen, men who operate in the blessing don't fight physically. The weapon of our warfare is not canal. I 
But under the anointing, Happy New Year. The weapon of our warfare is not carnal. It is mighty through God. This year you will not fight a carnal warfare. The force of the blessing will release what belongs to you. In the name of Jesus. They shall inherit the land forever. There is a portion of land that belongs to you in South Africa. There are portions that belong to you in South Africa, in your country. This year, by the force of the blessing, your inheritance will come to you. Your inheritance will come to you. Your inheritance will come to you. Come to you. Lift up your voice, say, Oh Lord, in 2023. I will possess my possession. I will inherit my inheritance. I command my land. There is a land that belongs to Christ's world. Last year, about five pastors and prophets spoke to me about it. This year, God showed me, and he didn't show me empty land. He showed me Christ's world. Now, from the Christ World Estate, we are going into Christ World City. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I started talking about Christ World City before I even saw the estate. What I had already seen is the Christocentric, what is it called now again? Christocentric resort. And this resort has rivers. You know you can create river when you want to create river. It's a place where some of you will have your retirement home. Beautiful home. Your mansion has a location. River by the side, mountain by the other side. Green and beautiful. I have seen it. And it will come to pass. This year, the token will manifest. The token will manifest. Lift up your, put your feet on the ground. Say, I possess my portion of land this year. I possess my portion of land this year. This is my year. That portion that belongs to me in South Africa, in Zimbabwe, in Nigeria, anywhere in Africa, anywhere in the world, I possess them. I inherit them. I possess them. Asabukaya! Possess that vast acres of land for Christ's world. We possess, we possess, we receive, we manifest, we possess, we receive, we manifest that vast acres of land. Let Christ's world estate begin to manifest. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear a believer's amen. amen. Now listen please. From this night, please start searching for that land where Christ's world estate will be built. Amen. Start searching for it. We might see the acres of the land immediately. Or we might see a small one where we can start to express our faith. Are you with me? But start searching. If you see 
100 acres. I don't know how many kilometers that will be. But if you see 100 acres of land that is well strategically located, you don't need to ask how is it going to happen. If we fail, now me fail. It's me that will bear the shame. So forget about the shame. Just bring, tell me where it is. We will pray. If the Lord confirms that this is the one, we will go for it. And how God is going to do it is not your business. But when we start sharing plot, you will come and collect your own plot and start building. Because inside Christ's world estate, your mansion is inside. Your rest, restful place is inside. The place where you will enter and you will know that God lives here. The presence of God will be like a sun day and night. We have seen this thing in several dimensions. Hallelujah. Yeah, you saw Kazi was living on top. And water was flowing down. Hallelujah. You see, this is your thing that everybody is seeing. If it goes beyond, it will not go beyond this way. There's no if. If you allow it to go beyond this year, don't allow it to go beyond this year. It has no reason to go beyond this year. It has no reason to go beyond this year. This estate is beautiful. A few days ago, I saw the pastor that is pastoring the largest church in the whole world. That was the third time I was seeing that estate. He came with his whole family to have holiday in that estate in the spirit realm. And everybody was taking pictures. People came. Crusade was happening behind a river. There was a blue river with green grasses, beautifully built. And people came for crusade. Pastors were coming from all over the world. As they come, they write their prayer points and put inside an envelope to drop it on that wonderful ground. It was an altar of answers. This year, the manifestation will begin. Presidents of nations will come to recoup after so much stress. They will come to sit down. They will, they will come to a Hosalaga Zayagada. I have seen it. I have seen it. I have a dream. I have a vision. One day, your mansion for rest and relaxation will be built in Christ world city. Several years ago, a man of God who didn't have one room was praying, Lord, please, I have suffered too much. Give me a room where I can be putting my head. God said to him, I will give you a city. <laughs> he was like, let's stop arguing about city. I want a place to be sleeping first. God said, stop talking about a room. I will give you a city. Today is a reality. They have city with universities, with banks, with police station. Everything that you is known in a city is inside the place. <laughs> so as I'm talking now, it may be sounding like a dream that will never come to pass. But you will be alive to see it come to pass. I see Christ's world estates. I see Christocentric resorts. I see Christ's world city. And the world is spreading from glory to glory. Your portion of land is located in the city. In the name of Jesus. Go to verse 22. That will be your prayers. We are beginning to round up. Verse 22. O solo bagada. Le kando mani karabatos.
can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around for my good. I can see my business turning around. My family turning around. My ministry turning around for my good. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around for my good. Stand to your feet. Please hold what you have. It is to your own advantage. Don't leave some in your pocket. I'm not asking you to come and give them as offering. So if you have 10,000, hold all of them. If you have 20, carry it. No thief will rob you. Amen. It's to your own advantage. Thank you, Lord. Remember, we are designing the year with Christ. Now read this scripture. Oh, it's not here yet. All right, we are still repeating. Can you read that scripture for us again? Liberato sande ni amaragado salaya. Ezaza zozoni zabila katondia. Yes. The list that you have with you now will receive a thousand times multiplication. Hold what you have, lift it up before the Lord. The force of the blessing is coming upon your, your, your substances. The force of the blessing is coming upon your resources. The force of the blessing is coming upon your money. The force of the blessing is coming upon your business. The force of the blessing is coming upon your inheritance. I prophesy and I declare a thousand times multiplication. A thousand times multiplication. One thousand percent increase. One thousand percent increase. One thousand percent increase. One thousand percent increase. Your money represents your business. Your money represents the works of your hand. Your money represents your labors. Your money represents your sweat. Your sweat represents your blood. Your blood represents your life. Therefore, I prophesy all round increase. Every good thing in your life represented here today will experience a thousand times increase in the name of Jesus. For the remaining days of this prayer we will still continue to be prophesying a thousand times increase Amen. if you have a million trust God for a thousand times increase Amen. if you have a house one that belongs to you trust God for a thousand times increase Amen. Now notice that he didn't say that everything will only be a thousand. He said the smallest, the smallest will become a thousand. And the least will become a mighty city. There is grace for increase that has been released by the power of the blessing of God resting upon you. Get ready to expand. Get ready for multiplication. Please hear me. This is the number one reason God told me that leadership 
is going to be a major aspect of our training this year. The reason is because what God is going to give to you will be too much for you alone to manage. So God is going to train us to enlarge our leadership capacity. Listen, the capacity to lead your shop and be present in that shop is not the same capacity to manage five shops and all of them will be doing well. So, this year, we are going to run the first two months of the year, every Saturday, every, no, every Tuesday, right? Every Tuesday, we are going to be running leadership training. I'm inviting pastors from across the nations through our, our, our Zoom to be running, not only pastors, people in leadership, people in business, to be running leadership training one hour every week. Because now you may be managing only three people working for you. If you are not prepared and suddenly God brings you to a point that you will need 30 people to be working for you, they will frustrate your work. We are talking about blessing. Blessing carries fruitfulness. It carries multiplication. There is no multiplication without proper leadership. There are people that became fruitful in life and everything was working. Their problems started when they started multiplying. When they needed to be in Nigeria and be in Switzerland and be in South Africa in the same, at the same time, the people that are supposed to be helping them did not receive proper leadership. They started destroying them. Are you hearing me? So there is going to be multiplication. God told me, I started telling you this from, it was the end of last year, that leadership is going to be a core aspect of our, our journey this year. It is a preparation for what is coming. Please, don't underestimate this effort that we are making. Don't, don't despise it. Don't look down on it. You need to develop better to be able to manage what is coming better. Prodigal son received an inheritance from his father. That was not a problem to receive an inheritance, but he didn't have the correct leadership. In less than a few months, he went back begging. Everything crumbled. You are not just going to experience fruitfulness this year. You are going to experience multiplication what you are doing will multiply. If you have one office, you can have seven this year. And it takes another level of leadership to direct and manage seven businesses. Lift up what you have in your hand. Say, Father, I believe your word. I prophesy and I declare a thousand folds increase. A thousand folds increase on every good thing that you have given to me. A thousand folds increase. I design my 2023 for a thousand fold increase. Some of you, the increase you need is increase in health. Because your body has been disappointing you. When it looks like you are about to be very happy, one strange thing will come to your body. God has given you health, but this year your health will increase. Your health will increase. Amen. The things you handle that people don't know what you are dealing with. You, you will look for that thing. You will not see it this year. Amen. In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamachia. There will be increase of happiness. There will be increase of joy. 
your joy will multiply your happiness will multiply your joy will be full whatever that is draining your joy dies today in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach Your money will multiply. Your money will multiply. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. I, the Lord, will do it swiftly. Whatever the Lord is doing for you this year, it will happen quickly. It will happen with speed. In the name of Jesus. I see you holding a flower. I see you holding a flower. God is changing the direction of your journey this year. Mm. your journey is taking a different turn this year your journey is taking a beautiful turn this year it will be beautiful it will be beautiful yeah it will be beautiful father has designed it and we download it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Father. Zuzu Balagadaya. The pain inside your bone, inside your bone, inside your bone, inside you feel that pain inside your bone. Today, by the increase of health, we strangulate that pain and we flush it out of your whole system. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anybody that is cooking with gas, please be careful this new year. Apply extreme carefulness. Today, two times I saw it. Two times. Gas catching fire. Jesus help you. We quench that fire in the spirit. We quench that fire in the spirit. Whether it is electrical or gaseous, we quench that fire in the spirit. We kill it and declare that it will not come to manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every good prophecy that is being delayed in your life, this week, the door is unlocked for the manifestation of the promises of God in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With a, with, a, with a heart of mercy, with a heart of mercy, uh, the, 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 the angel who took care of blocks and bricks for builders just returned. If you were not here when we prayed, I don't know for whom this return happened. You were not here when we prayed for those for people who have blocks or bricks for building. Whether you are planning to start the building or the building is in process but it has not finished. And God is releasing grace for speed, for speed accomplishment. If you were not here, maybe you came late and you are among them. 
I don't know for whom this return happened. Please come. And then anyone who is having any kind of sickness, big or small, come forward. I want to and pour the oil on your head. But let me pray for anybody who was supposed to be part of the prayer for bricks and blocks and you were not here when we prayed that prayer. Thank you, Lord. We have a covenant with Father that grace is upon you. Between now and March, there will be testimony of completion. Grace is released upon you. Between now and March, there will be testimony of completion. Whether you have started or you are planning to start, but there is block or bricks that is already beginning to come together. There is grace on you. Even if the block is in your mind, but you have not been able to bring it tomorrow, please go buy one brick. If you have not even started gathering blocks, but it's in your mind, tomorrow go and buy one brick. At least one. Bring it and keep it somewhere. And the grace is activated. Come closer. So I lay my hands on you. We release that grace for spirit. It will finish miraculously with speed. It will finish miraculously. There is a multiple dimension of wealth that God ordained for you this year. Draw closer to God. Draw closer to God. I started seeing this from towards the end of last year. And it has not stopped coming. I pray that nothing will hinder it. Any wish that we want to tamper with what God has planned for you, you will bury them honorably. Amen. Did you hear what I said now? Any wish that want to tamper with what God is planning to do for you, you will give them befitting burial. Amen. That means they are going to, you are going, if anybody tries to tackle you spiritually with witchcraft or moti of any kind, you will hear, the only thing you will hear will be the news of their death. And when that death comes, don't bother yourself crying. Prepare for good burial. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace will manifest this in your life. In Jesus' name, I release grace for speedy manifestation. I release grace for speedy manifestation. In the mighty name, of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So lift that money you have in your hand. Wave it to heaven. Wave it to heaven. As we read again. Proverbs chapter number. 10 verse 22. NIV. Wave the money you have. Wave the money you have. Read it with me. Two times, one to go. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no trouble to it. Two, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no sorrow to it. Three, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no trouble to it. Four, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no trouble to it. Five, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no trouble to it. Six, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no trouble to it. Seven, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. And he adds no sorrow to it. Hallelujah. Just now, my own speaker started speaking. You know, on Sunday, that boy was asking, please give me my own speaker. Just now, my own speaker started speaking. The way you found the key to my speaker, every hidden key that is kept from anybody here, it is discovered. It is released. You will see the key to your world. In the name of Jesus. Hold still, hold that money in your hands. The last scripture, Isaiah 45, verse 2 and 3. 
Isaiah 45 verse 2 and 3. We will read it together. Isaiah 45 verse 2 and 3. Thank you so much, Brother David. The Lord increase you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you visibly this year. The Lord bless you. Nothing is as difficult as talking and you are not hearing yourself. The people you are talking to are enjoying, but you are shouting because you don't hear yourself. So you are not even sure whether the people are hearing you. There's no feedback. This year, you will have beautiful feedbacks. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, the light departed. My voice came. Hallelujah. Everything that happens this year will be to your advantage. Yeah. Read this scripture together with me. One to go. I will go before you and I will level the mountains. Every mountain standing before you hindering the manifestations of blessings in your life they are leveled they are leveled they are leveled in the name of Jesus I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. No gate will be closed against you this year. The gate of prosperity is open to you today. The gate of the city of Cape Town, they are open to you today. In the name of Jesus. I will give you the treasures of darkness. Read it with me. I will give you the treasures of darkness. Lift your voice say, I receive the treasures of darkness. In 2023, by the force of the blessing, I receive the treasures of darkness. Don't be afraid. It is God that said he will give it to you. It is not for witches and wizards. It's not for called people. Say, I receive the treasures of darkness. I hear you will enjoy it and it will not harm you. In the name of Jesus. Say, I receive the treasures of darkness. Riches stored in secret places. Say, I receive riches from secret places. I receive riches from secret places. In the name of Jesus. And this is so that you may know that I am the Lord. The God of Israel. Who summons you by name. Hallelujah. A thousand times multiplication. A thousand times multiplication. Your business will be multiplied. Your business will be multiplied. Your career will be multiplied. Your peace will be multiplied. Your righteousness will be multiplied. Your holiness will be multiplied. Your money will be multiplied. Your joy will be multiplied. In the name of Jesus. Father, we design 2023 for 10,000 times multiplication of every good thing you have given to us. Yeah. 